Today following reports of consistent academic plagiarism first published by the Manhattan Institute's in-house publication, City Journal Harvard President Claudine Gay resigned. Manhattan Institute Senior Fellow and City Journal Contributing Editor Christopher F. Rufo, who co-authored that original piece, has since played a pivotal role in the national conversation about gays' academic integrity and leadership. City Journal has also contributed to the public understanding of the changing ideological climate at Harvard and other elite universities, including the deep interrelationship between progressive racial orthodoxy and the rise of campus anti-Semitism. Heather MacDonald's The Academy at a Crossroads Part I, Part II detailed how the rise of day diversity, equity, and inclusion bureaucracies has stifled free speech and fostered an anti-Western ethos that is increasingly embedded in the curriculum. The Manhattan Institute's Director of Constitutional Studies, Ilya Shapiro, has also been at the forefront of calling out the troubling state of affairs at Harvard and other elite universities, and offers the following commentary on her resignation. The resignation of Harvard's embattled president doesn't end the school's troubles. Indeed, it doesn't even end the plagiarism scandal, because the Harvard Corporation still has to answer for sweeping the initial allegations under the rug and hiring a law firm to threaten. Journalists who had the scoop, the larger problems of a toxic campus culture and bureaucratic bloat that stifle open inquiry and free discourse remain, and Harvard is by no means alone in that mess. Claudine Gay, a middling academic from a privileged background elevated for her politically correct thoughts, epitomizes the illiberal takeover of higher ed. Valuing day, identity politics, and activism over truth-seeking, intellectual merit, and education. The aftermath of Hamas's attack and the university president's disastrous performance at a congressional hearing looking into campus anti-Semitism together exposed the rot in academia. It doesn't take long to destroy reputations built over decades and centuries, so the main question now is whether Harvard and its peers are willing to do the work to restore their tarnished institutions.